A school district is only as great as the community supporting it. One of the reasons Homer is such a great place to be is because of parent involvement and volunteerism. This mother of three spends countless time and effort in making Homer the best it can possibly be. With uncertainty in the lead up to the 2020-2021 school year, she played a critical role in fighting COVID-19 with love and positivity for the Homer Central School District. Today's Blue Pride Spotlight is on Mrs. Amy Keita. Amy Keita moved her family to Homer intentionally. A strong community and school district is where she wanted her children to be. But Amy also recognized that a strong school district needs strong support. Involved in a wide variety of programs, committees, and associations, Mrs. Keita works many volunteer hours on behalf of students, staff, and parents in the Homer Central School District. Something she believes is critical in making positive change. And it's more successful if people have positive input and if people are willing to actually put in the time and the effort. I keep showing up and I think it's important to go. I get to see what teachers go the extra mile. I get to put names with faces and I like to have fun. So I feel like if I'm gonna be here and my kids are gonna be here, like this is gonna be a fun experience. Mrs. Keita has organized numerous events for the district, from bingo night, to ice skating, to yoga, to many more. But that's not all she does. As an outsider from the day-to-day -day life in the classroom, Amy brings fresh and creative perspectives and ideas to the district as a separate set of eyes. I think that people get emotionally exhausted and their creativity fizzles out. And since I don't actually have to work for the school and feel the different emotions that go through the school system, it gives me a chance to participate in a creative way. Um, I really enjoy long-term investments. So I was a moving force when we put in the picnic tables at the elementary, which I think will get 10, 20 years of enjoyment. And it's not only for the students, for the teachers, for the community, it's a great investment. With all of the uncertainty surrounding COVID-19 and the lead up to the 2020-2021 school year, Mrs. Keita felt it was important to show the staff at Homer that they are loved and appreciated with a chalk the walk effort. I just simply reached out to these wonderful people I know and said, hey, anybody you know that would be interested in doing this, let's try to do it for all of the schools and chalk the walk. And because I volunteer with the PTO and SCAs, I went to them and I said, how about we do lunch? And then one of the administration said to me, if would you be willing to arrange it for the whole district? Yeah, I could do that. So I did. It was delicious. And so these teachers got to come back to school, be greeted with these positive affirmations, have a gift. And it seemed like it was just a beautiful way to start the year to say, you know, we're here. But why give all of this effort on top of her career as a massage therapist and property manager? As a mother of three, Mrs. Keita says she feels a sense of duty to her community. I feel like it's my duty. I'm supposed to contribute to my community and I'm supposed to do what I can do. And I feel my ability is to be creative, to follow through, to organize, and ask a lot of questions. And while it may seem like a lot to handle, Mrs. Keita strongly encourages anyone considering getting involved with the district to do so. If you want something to be better, or want to see a positive change, it's also your responsibility to, to show up, to ask the people, ask the questions, find out whose job it is, do the follow through, show gratitude and appreciation when things do happen. I wanna be a part of something that's beautiful and awesome and I'll only feel that way if I know I'm giving my gifts to the school and to the community. Anybody who's willing to just carve out a few hours to make a difference in somebody else's life, I think it's appreciated. If you would like to nominate someone for the Blue Pride Spotlight, please fill out our Blue Pride Spotlight nomination form at homercentral.org slash Blue Pride Spotlight. Again, that's homercentral.org slash Blue Pride Spotlight.